Hey everyone, it's an aging zombie bringing you some more Modern Warfare Zombies content. And in today's video, I'm going to attempt to try and beat the escort contract inside the Dark Aether solo. And I'm going to try and do it without the VR-11. So we're going to bring in some goodies here. I'm also going to be trying out the Vel-46. I've heard some good things about this. So we're going to bring in some stuff to kind of help us get prepped for the fight. So let's get right into it. Okie dokie, so uh, for this fight, I've seen this strategy, so I don't claim to have come up with this on my own for soloing the escort in the Dark Aether, but apparently you just use a bunch of the pulley grenades, the Kazmiers. So I'll need to get Pack-a-Punch 3, and then... Uh, I'm just gonna buy a bunch of Casimirs, and I also obviously will need the sigil as well. <laughs> I need a sigil to get in there, and then I'm hoping I also get a elder sigil while I'm in there. So let's go complete a contract. contract. At least get me another self revive and start getting the essence. Okay, so we're in tier three. Let's start farming these contracts. I'm still shy of being pack a punch three. But that should be okay. Well, after I complete this, I'll be able to do it. You know, for only being packed two, this is not doing terrible, actually, in tier three. Um, I also really like the max ammo reserve. The 1200 rounds in reserve is fantastic. There's a lot of SMGs, I just feel like I'm constantly running out of ammo. So having that massive amount in spare is fantastic. The other thing I've realized, the more I run tier three, now, granted, I, since I've been running Tier 3, I've been getting a lot more of these legendary tools. Or not legendary, epic, the purple. Um, I, I haven't found too many of the legendary ones, the orange or yellow, whatever color you want to call it. Um, the more and more I run in here, I'm getting more comfortable in Tier 3. The thing I've realized is... I get so accustomed to tier one and tier two, how quickly I'm just shredding through hordes of zombies. And I want the same for tier three, but that's just not the case. You gotta be a little bit slower. You gotta be a little bit more methodical. And now, yeah, a lot of times I just run around and dodge enemies with just using my fists. But if you're gonna try and fight the zombies you just got to be a little slower a little more methodical you got to have you just kind of got to dodge them move a little bit more be cognizant of your surroundings but it come becomes a little bit easier and it feels good i will say though while i have gotten more comfortable in here one thing I want to add is you do have to be comfortable going down. You know, you're gonna you're gonna mess up at some point and you're gonna go down and that's okay. Be okay with that. Just be prepared. Um, you know, I came in with the one self revive, but I wanted to get a second. I try to keep it so that I have one self revive to get me out. If you have to bail on tier three and go into tier two for a little bit, you know, go ahead. No problem with that. Go out in tier two, complete a contract or two, or get enough essence. You can buy self revives in tier two. Uh, so get another two self revives, and then come right back in. Start farming. No shame in having to back down from a fight. Oh, yes. Okay, so now I can start focusing on getting all the pulley grenades. 
Casmir's. I'm almost defiant in calling them Casmir's the real name because I've been calling them Pulley Grenades for so long. That's just me. Okay, so let's go pack a punch and then do more contracts to um, buy up pulley grenades. So where's the buy station? Okay. Buy station. Okay, let's try going back in. Uh, actually, let's be smart. Where's the buy station? I should go buy... Marking contract. Oh, I don't have enough. I'm not going to have enough time and enough. I need to like fill my backpack with the Casimirs. I don't think I'm going to be able to make this run. Okay, this is turning out to be a little bit more difficult than I was wanting it to be. My biggest problem is getting enough essence to buy all the stuff that I want to take into the Dark Aether, all of the pulley grenades. And the part of the problem is because I don't have access to a refine or the flawless Ethereum crystal to get me directly to PAP 3, I'm having to waste time getting the 15,000 to pap these to three and then get enough essence to buy all the pulley grenades. So it's frustrating. You know, it's like, I don't want to tombstone. I don't want to do the tombstone glitch, but I feel like that's the only way to do this, but I refuse to do the tombstone glitch. So I'm really hoping, I mean, I'm going to just keep trying, but, uh, I'm really thinking at this point, it might have to be something that I complete once I get the, once they introduce the wallet system, because once they have the wallet system, it's easy then to just, you know, bring in all the necessary essence to buy all the stuff I need. Well, assuming the wallet system works exactly like DMZ and, you know, you'd be able, I'd be able to bring in enough essence to buy all the stuff I need. So it's a big assumption. But I'd be shocked if they don't have a very similar system. And I've decided this time to bring in the just kind of go to Metagun right now. The tier dual wield snake shots. I really do like the Vel 46 though. It is a lot of fun and it's been working fairly well. But I'm going to kind of do this to hopefully maybe power through and get all the essence and everything. So let's see. One thing that's, uh, I've just, all these runs I've been doing. So normally I feel like when I'm, whoop, normally when I am uh, in the tier three zone here, I usually find a fair amount of the pulley grenades and crates and stuff, but man, for some reason, I have like not been finding any. And it's been making it a little hard to try and like get a bunch of them. Are you just not gonna attack me? I mean, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm really happy <laughs> that you're not doing anything. Cool. Uh, let me just top off my uh, thermites. Okay. And I'm currently not pack a punching because I feel like these are doing okay as pap two. Oh no, I'm stuck. Oh no, I'm stuck again. Oh, 
Oh yeah, where? Oh the gas. Oh the gas is right here. Shoot, I don't know if. Are you able to enter the dark aether after the gas is expanding? I don't know that. So I am not gonna risk that. I am going to finish this contract and then go buy and head over. And you know, I think unfortunately at this point, whatever I have is gonna have to be it. Okay, I just realized, uh, since I waste or I did that, uh, if the sigil goes away as the gas hits it, then I'm screwed. I am 100% screwed. Let's go. Oh, shoot. I forgot. I didn't need the tool. Uh, whatever. And I'm not pack punch three. This might be, uh, this might be rough. We shall see. Okay, it still pops up. That's good. Okay, let's see if I can do this as a solo. I'm just gonna go for the escort. Okay, so let's go do this. So we're gonna go straight for the ACV. Uh, the only real way I know how to kind of get there is to still essentially go the path of the uh, extractor. But I'm gonna, I wanna avoid the mega. So I'm gonna kind of come this way. Already low on ammo. This is not good. But you know what? These uh PAP2 pistols seem to be doing okay. Okay, so we want to place this on the back here. Uh it's not letting me place it. There we go. So that's part of the strategy. So then the other part of the strategy is just using the pulley grenades to pull enemies off this thing kind of constantly. Eight, ten, perfect. I think that'll be enough. Now, sometimes there is a turret right there. It's just not always there. Oh my goodness, I am stuck. <laughs> Wasted that. As you're kind of driving there, see it kills all the ones in front, which is good. And then the turret's supposed to kind of be shooting the ones that are coming up on the back, but I had a really bad start to that, so I don't I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this.
This isn't gonna work. Oh boy. Oh, come on. You really didn't get pulled? Contract failed. Oh. This is brutal. Man, that was brutal. I think, like, I I just played it poorly. I weren't I wasn't throwing those pulley grenades at the right timing. I was throwing them way too late or too early. I think I threw it too early and so it wasn't pulling them off the ACV, and then I'd throw them too late as far as like when in route between the 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 ver vertices vor vortices or whatever uh i was throwing them too late for that so i think that I me mean, i think that's the strategy and i was actually surprised at how well the just pap 2 pap 2 the and then the epic ether tool it was doing it was actually kind of holding well now maybe that's also why i didn't succeed maybe if I had just gotten through hordes of zombies a little quicker with PAP 3 or legendary tool, that could have also made it a little bit easier. So who knows? Maybe, you know, in comb both combinations of things, uh, timing those pulley grenades a little better and then also having a better weapon probably would have helped out. But, you know, we'll have to get back there and in, in there and try it again. Mm, okay. <clears throat> Nothing really close. So let's just start here. I was hoping for something close to the pack a punch here. What? Nope. Yeah, buddy. Whoa. You let one through, man. Nope. Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay. What I need is plates, but that's okay. So let's go by. by station. And then we will try this one more time with less pulley grenades, but that's okay. I'm gonna go down, aren't I? Oh boy, yep, I am. Ooh, that was lucky. Real lucky. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, two less than I've had before. Actually, a lot less than I've had before. And no spare. And no spare uh, self revive. I only have the one. Oh, and I don't have the. Oh, I don't have the sentry gun. But you know what? Let's just try it. Who knows? Maybe I somehow pull this one off. How many times have I tried it and I have not? But you know? Maybe this is the time. Underprepared and just going in. for some ammo here. I'm not gonna I'm not seeing any. Alrighty. Let's see, I feel like yeah anything in front is gonna be just 
ran over. So I feel like I just need to focus on the back. Because they will run up fast enough and actually hurt this thing. Oh, th things are throwing things, though. Back, look at the back, okay. Keep looking at the back. And you stop looking forward. Oh boy. Kinda gotta look forward to that. <laughs> or, yeah. Be nice to have. Ten more seconds, come on. Guess I should make sure I've got uh yep. Didn't say that I've got my uh field upgrade full. Kind of nice to drop it right there. Oh, that's right. I thought it was back there, but it's up here. I gotta survive. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is stressful. Oh my goodness, did I did. Oh, I did it. Oh my goodness. I survived solo. Oh gosh. Underprepared, but ready for the fight. Oh, that was fantastic. It actually worked. So maybe the trick was to have these back a bunch three. Or it could have been a bunch of other things. Oh my gosh, that feels fantastic to get done. Oh yes, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh. That was stressful. I, I legitimately didn't think that was going to work, considering I didn't have all the stuff that I was hoping for. 
Well, wow. That was exciting and I feel so good right now to have a completed solo without the VR11. Uh, but I do want to be clear, like it took me quite a few runs to get this done as a solo. Like it, I don't think it was necessarily easy. I failed quite a bit at this one. Plus I just had a lot of runs that I had to go in and just try and get some relatively good starting equipment so I could get to farming the tier three contracts as soon as I possibly could in a match. And then I do also think part of the success was to the Akimbo snake shot tiers. I mean, they are meta for a reason. A lot of people run them. And then having it PAP three, I definitely think was much better. I felt like PAP two in that one run, it felt pretty good, but the PAP three seems to just have done so much better. But I also think I was timing the pulley grenades a lot better. And I think I was just had a better start. And then that led me just to a good flow for the rest of that contract. But I hope everyone enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed getting this completed till the next one. Peace.